Hi, I'm Peter Vogel, and uh, this is a quick introduction to our electronic um, pattern scoring system. Uh, this is your electronic scribe, and uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, before I get started, I just want to explain the um, audio system. So um, I will have at every contest these um, single ear headphones. Um, the audio quality is not great, but um, it is sufficient in case uh, you don't want to use the earbuds. Um, regardless, they just plug in right here in this orange port. Um, and in general, I'll have things set up for you. You can, of course, use any standard set of uh, earbuds like these. Um, uh, the iPhone earbuds work fine, Samsung earbuds, uh, whatever you got with the uh, standard uh, three and a half millimeter uh, jack plug. Uh, it's really all that's necessary in order to get hooked up. That way, uh, everything, that you're, the scores that you're recording um, and uh, the maneuver are played in your ear. Your pilot, the other pilot can't hear it, the other judge can't hear it, uh, and so forth. So um, that's, uh, that's the way we hear what's going on. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll of course not be using the earbuds so that the uh, camera can hear everything, um, as can you. So let's go ahead and turn things on. Um, standard um, iPhone, iPod Touch uh, type interface here and uh, there's an app here with the old NSRCA logo on it um, and uh, that is the pattern scoring app. We'll just go ahead and start it up and at a contest what will happen Enter is it will and select round and class. essentially instantly uh, discover the, the contest. If we go back to the settings we'll see the contest that it's working on here. Um, Zoom in a little bit here. And you can see that you can also select different voices. Um, just a, a kind of a fun feature that I added. Um, so if you don't like the default Siri voice, uh, you can choose other voices. Um, a lot of people have liked Karen. Hi, I'm Karen. Maneuvers will be spoken in this voice. Uh, regardless, we'll start with the default of, of Hi, Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Maneuvers will be spoken in this voice. Um, but we can see the rest of the contest. The contest ID is 560. Um, this is, I'm just using the, the pattern bash that we did a couple weeks ago um, as my uh, demo contest here. Um, and you see the CD and so forth. Um, but ordinarily, it will go directly to the judging. Enter screen. judge number and select round and class. So this is the first uh, screen that you would ordinarily see unless I've set things up for you ahead of time. Um, and uh, pretty much standard, just like you would do on a paper scoring sheet. You enter your judge number. I was judge 24 at that contest. And then the round that you'll be judging. We'll choose round one. And um, then select the class that we're actually going to be judging. So uh, we'll go ahead and judge uh, masters. And uh, then we simply press the contestant button up here. Select contestant. And we're ready to just select the contestant. This is what we'll be doing throughout the round. Um, you'll be back on this screen selecting the next pilot that's going to be flying. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with uh, Chris Fitzsimmons. And then all we have to do is jump to the scoring. Controller connected. Controller check. Click button A to verify controller connection or cancel to use on-screen controls. And of course all of this is what you'll be hearing in your ear. So uh, just to make sure that the controller is connected, every once in a while uh, these controllers lose their connection to the, um, to the iPhone. So uh, I do do a controller check that requires you to click button A in order to verify that things are connected. Let me just zoom out just a little and we see the rest of the controller here. Um, so button A is the red one, so we'll just go ahead and click that and it'll dismiss that. Ready to score for pilot Krishlan Fitzsimmons. One, take off. Ten. So what you hear there is um, a confirmation of the um, pilot that's act that you're actually selected. So uh, nothing, uh, there's no possibility of you getting the wrong uh, pilot selected and so forth. Um, most of the scoring that you'll be doing is here on the right hand. Um, there's basically uh, the two buttons here, A and X. A subtracts one point, 
x subtracts half a point. So as you observe downgrades, uh, you simply click the A button or the X button. So uh, as Chris is taking off, uh, we may see a little uh, uh, um, yaw in the plane, and we don't like that, so we'll go ahead and nine point five. Uh, deduct nine and a half points, and then maybe he climbs out a little too steep, um, and we don't like nine. that, so we'll deduct another half point. Very straightforward. If you ever do something in error, B and Y reverse the buttons uh, that they're across from. So B reverses uh, the minus half point. So if I say, well, you know, it wasn't that bad, I'll go ahead and give them that half point back. Um, once, uh, once we're happy uh, with the score and the maneuver is complete, uh, we have two buttons on the top here, um, and either one of these will work. Uh, you simply pull the trigger. Um, to advance to the next maneuver. Half clove relief, two of four roll up, one roll on horizontal, exit inverted, ten. So once again, we hear the uh, maneuver that's to be um, flown. Uh, it is, of course, displayed on the screen, but you generally don't even need to look at the screen. And uh, uh, we hear the score that's currently in there, which is, of course, a ten. Um, as we observe downgrades, once again, we Nine, can subtract points. Five. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. If, um, if the pilot completely blows a maneuver, um, the quickest way to a zero is um, over here on the left-hand directional pad, um, a down gives the pilot a zero. Um, and similarly, we can reset back to a ten. Uh, if for some reason we get distracted, somebody walks up to talk to us or something like that, uh, not really understanding how pattern events work, um, we do have the ability to uh, go back, uh, sorry, to uh, go to not observe. Stall turn, full roll up, two of four down, ten. And when you hear, uh, what you heard there was um, it went immediately to the next maneuver. The assumption there is if you say I've not observed, then um, you're already into the next maneuver and um, you need to uh, advance quickly. Um, because I didn't want to advance just yet, uh, I'll go ahead and press the upper button on the left hand side and that will take Half me to the previous minute. Two of four roll up, one roll on horizontal, exit inverted, not observed. And there you see um, and, and hear the confirmation that uh, not observed was selected for you. Uh, that's pretty much the operation of uh, scoring in general. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reset. Ten. Chris here, and um, we'll drop him a couple points just uh, for demonstration purposes. Again, we can just advance, pulling the trigger over here. Stall turn, full roll up, two of four down, ten. And what I'll do is I'll just rapidly uh, cycle through these so that we can get to the end. Nine, two slope, nine. Half square, look, nine. Figure Z, nine. And you see if you're in a real Eight. hurry. Humpty bump, nine. Pyramid loop with half roll, nine. The, uh, the voice cancels what was in the middle of being said. Scores take priority over the um, reading of the maneuver. Um, so when we've got something new to say, we cut off uh, what we were saying. Eight, stall turn, nine. Top hat, nine. Pull, 9.5. Eight sided, nine. Full roll, half outside loop, nine. Rivers Cuban eight from top, nine. Figure six, half roll down, not eight point five, reverse knife edge, nine, eight point five, eight, seven point five, three slash four, figure eight, full inside loop on bottom, half outside loop on top, ten, nine point five. And uh, a lot of people um, find that dealing with two buttons is uh, more than they want to deal with when they're flying, or when they're uh, judging, that is. Uh, so um, uh, you do, of course, have the option to say, well, uh, I only want to deduct by half points, so um, you just press the uh, X button as many times as you need to. So, for example, eight, eight, seven point five, um, and then uh, we'll just continue and a half advancing. Turn spin. Two, not eight, landing, ten. So we're down to landing. Nine point five. When we pull the trigger now, uh, that was of course the last maneuver. So we'll pull the trigger. Maneuvers complete. Review scores. Review scores. Pull right trigger to save. So we're told maneuvers are complete. It's time to review scores. And in the review scores screen, um, we pull the trigger to save, or you can hit the save button um, up here in the upper corner. Let me zoom in again so that you can see this.
Uh, so you see each maneuver and the score that you currently have recorded for it. Uh, you can just touch and scroll. Um, if there's any maneuver that you don't really like the score on, um, uh, maybe you made a mistake at, but you didn't have time to go back uh, during the flight, um, you can just click on the maneuver Controller connected. Nine. Uh, and you're immediately dropped back to, the, um, to that maneuver. It shows the maneuver name uh, or description and uh, you can score it normally. 8.58 and uh, when you're happy with the score that you have, uh, you can just click the uh, save button up here. Review scores. Pull right trigger to save. And we're back to it. Uh, I didn't do a really good demo there. Let me. Uh, Controller connected. He had a nine. nine. I'm going to take him down to a 7.5. 7 7.5. And uh, once again, we'll save the score. The triggers don't work at this point, so. Um, you just hit the save. Review scores. Pull right trigger to save. We're back to the review scores, and you see that I did, in fact, downgrade into a 7.5 on that maneuver. Uh, when you're happy with the scores, again, uh, you just pull the trigger. Select contestant. And it will come back to this screen. Now, that happened really, really fast. Um, that's the normal course of events. Um, uh, saving to the scoring computer is very fast. Uh, every once in a while, um, uh, lots of people on the network or something like that, uh, that will slow down just a little bit. Um, all that's relevant here is the local network, not uh, the internet or anything like that. Uh, so if the score uh, take a little while to save, then it won't come back to the screen quite that fast. Uh, when it comes back to the screen, you can be confident that it did in fact save the scores uh, to the scoring computer. If for any reason uh, something goes wrong, uh, you know, which can happen, uh, especially as we're um, beta testing this and so forth. Uh, it's very straightforward. You can go back in and um, get back to your scores. Uh, and I'll just demonstrate that real quickly. Uh, we'll choose somebody else here, Steve Kanashiro. And um, I'll go into scoring controller mode. Connected. Controller check. Click button A to verify controller connection or cancel to use on-screen controls. I'll confirm the controller connection. Ready to score for pilot Steve Kane Shiro. One, take off. Ten. And um, we'll just uh, score eight. a couple things here. Half clover leaf, not eight. Stall turp, not eight. Too slow roll, not eight. Half square, eight. Figure Z, eight. Humpty Buck, not eight. Pyramid, eight. Stall turp, not eight. Top hat, not eight. Pull, not eight. Eight sided, not eight. Full roll, not eight. Seven. Reverse, not eight. Seven. Figures, not eight. Reverse knife, not eight. Three slash four, nine. Eight. Two and a half. Nine. Eight. Landing. Ten. Nine. Maneuvers complete. Review scores. Review scores. Pull right trigger to save. Okay, let's just say uh, something odd uh, happened to have happened uh, at that point in the, in the scoring. Um, so we get kicked out to the screen and um, let me just uh, demonstrate this system actually having killed uh, the pattern scoring app for one reason or another. Um, I hadn't saved yet, uh, so there might be a tendency there to panic, but uh, there's really no concern. Um, we'll go ahead and go back into uh, the app. In class. Um, it goes back to the beginning. We'll go ahead and tell it our judge number and our round. We were doing round one. And we'll select the class. Select contestant. We'll select the contestant with Steve Kanashiro that we were judging there. Uh, we'll go to the scoring. Controller connected. Controller check. Click button A to verify control. Ready to score for pilot Steve Kane Shiro. One, take off. Eight. And you see immediately that we've um, gotten back to the uh, scoring that we were at, back to the very beginning, uh, and but it does correctly remember that we scored uh, Steve an eight on that maneuver. If we click the review button in the upper corner, we can go directly. Review scores. Pull right trigger to save. We can go directly to the score review, and we can see that all the scores we put in there, mostly eights uh, intentionally there, um, sevens, uh, and the nine for the landing and so forth, they're all there. So all I have to do is pull the trigger, and once again, 
uh, post Select yesterday. contestant. And we're back to selecting the next contestant. Uh, so that's the basic operation of the system. Um, I'll be around, of course, if there are any problems, uh, but uh, I think I've got most of the ones that we discovered at uh, Bakersfield ironed out as well, so uh, things should be uh, fairly smooth. Every once in a while the controller does uh, fail to be connected to the iPod, you can of course just let me know, but uh, uh, basically uh, all you need is a um, paper clip and uh, we turn the thing around and there's a reset hole um, up here in the upper corner. You click that in and uh, in general it will find the controller right away. Um, and this uh, little red light comes on indicating that we are con connected to the iPod as um, controller one. The other thing that can uh, be a little disconcerting is if the battery on the controller um, starts to drop. Uh, in general, I'll have you guys hooked up to a backup battery, so that should never happen. Um, but uh, you can always check the status of the battery by clicking this button right next to the, to the lights. And um, this one's fully charged. We've got four, four lights. That's the basic operation of the system. Um, hope you enjoy it. Um, and uh, 